Oh, so I want to prove the standard inequality. Arithmetic mean is greater than or equal to geometric mean is greater than or equal to harmonic mean for a bunch of non-negative numbers. This is what we mean by arithmetic mean average. Geometric mean is the product of the power 1 over n. And harmonic mean h is 1 over the average of 1 over a is. So I'm going to show you a proof by Polya, a cute proof. So he starts by an x between h which is between 0 and 1 and you expand e raised to minus x. This is its power series expansion, plus and minus terms. But if you rearrange it as 1 minus x plus x squared by 2, take two terms from here, x squared by 2 factorial goes out, then you have 1 minus x minus 3 which is non-negative, plus two terms from here, x power by 4 factorial then 1 minus x by 5 which is also non-negative and so on. So everything is non-negative. So we get the inequality that e raised to minus x is greater than or equal to 1 minus x when x is between 0 and 1. Many ways you can prove it. So if you replace x by 1 minus x, you also get this inequality. So this is our starting point. Uh, for any xi between 0 and 1. So this is true for any xi now. And as an xi, let me take uh, some a over a. So of course this a over a is uh, or less than 1. So we can apply this inequality. And so this is going to be 1 minus uh, a i over a is greater than or equal to a over a. Now these are a bunch of positive numbers, so let me take the product of them on both the sides. i equal to 1 through n. This side is easy, this is sigma a i, <coughs> I equal to 1 through n over a to the power n. On this side, the product becomes a summation, so you have e raised to minus summation 1 minus <coughs> Uh, a over a. So i equal to 1 through n. So the first summation gives you e raised to minus n. Then the next summation is sigma a i. And if you substitute for a, which is 1 over n sigma a i, sigma a i cancels, the 1 over n goes upstairs. So you get like this n minus n is 0. So bottom line here you get 1. So you get a n is greater than or equal to product of a i i equal to 1 through n. Or from here you get a is greater than or equal to product of a i i equal to 1 through n to the power of 1 over n. This is the geometric mean. So we proved the first part. To prove the second part, let's take y i to be 1 over d i. I'm sorry, 1 over a i divided by 1 over n sigma 1 over a i. It's me. And proof is exactly the same because these y a's are between 0 and 1. So you have e raised to minus y a is greater than or equal to y a i, which is <coughs> 1 over a i over <coughs> 1 over n uh, sigma a i i equal to 1 through n. So once again, if I substitute it here, uh, uh, this is, uh, let me call this number to be b. So this is now n 1 over a i over b. And let me take the product i equal to 1 through n. Product here i equal to 1 through n. So here you can see the product becomes summation. And here you get n, here you have sigma 1 over a i divided by b is sigma 1 over a i's. this is your b. So that cancels n minus n, so is uh, 0, so you get 1. <coughs> and if you take the product here, if you bring all this, uh, so you get uh, to the power n, so you can rewrite that as uh, this is equal 1 is greater than or equal to 1 over you get this d n then you get uh, 
uh, a own a2 etc a the product so if i bring in this product and take the nth root you get g which is product of a i equal to 1 through n 1 over n is greater than or equal to what is remaining is just uh, 1 over b so that's 1 over 1 over n sigma 1 over a i this n if you put it on the numerator this is the harmonic mean so g is greater than h and you get the same proof but we can also do this uh, for two numbers i can also do this geometrically very easily say i have a number a this is a geometric proof and i have a number b so draw a semicircle of course the rate, uh, it, diameter is a plus b so the radius is a plus b by 2 let me mark these points as a b c let me draw a perpendicular from here and uh, let me look at these uh, triangles every line here has some interpretation so for example so let me call this point to be a b c d this is e let's say this is f now you can see o c is of course an arithmetic mean a plus b by 2 now if you look at uh, this triangle this is a right angle triangle this angle is 90 degrees by the way because this is a triangle extended on a, a diameter so if I mark this angle is theta this angle is 90 minus theta this is so this this angle is theta now and consequently this angle is 90 minus theta now which is clear from here also so you can see there are three similar triangles uh, so the triangle ADE ADE is similar to I think triangle DBE so this triangle is similar to this triangle uh, so one consequence is uh, uh, that uh, the ratio AD over e, uh, DE equals AD is the side opposite to 90 minus theta so that's the side opposite to 90 minus theta on this triangle which is the DE divided by and d in this triangle is the side opposite to theta so in this triangle the side opposite to theta is db but ad is a and db is uh, so a over d is uh, de over db is b so you can see d is square root of ab in other words this distance is the geometric mean and this distance is the arithmetic mean and as you can see geometric mean being a smaller chord is smaller than uh, the arithmetic mean so OC is of course the arithmetic mean and in same way you can actually show it that this distance is actually the harmonic mean so that will be EF you just have to look at the similar triangles because the proof goes like this this angle and this angle are the same and uh, if this angle is phi this angle is also phi uh, so consequently the other two angles have to be the same right so these two angles are the same so if this angle is alpha this is uh, alpha so you have a you have two triangles with uh, You have two triangles with the similar triangles. One side is uh, arithmetic mean, this is geometric mean. So once again, if you write down the ratio, this will turn out to be the distance Fe will turn out to be the harmonic mean.